Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another video. And in today's video we are at Brabus because I've got a little ticket and I'm invited to the Brabus. It's like a Christmas event or something like that, more like an influencer event. And I've got a bad case of influenza. So yeah, we're gonna head inside. This is the Brabus showroom by the way, that is my car, beep. Uh, we're gonna go head inside, there's like burgers, meat, fries, uh, drinks and a lot of cool Brabus cars. And if you are wondering why it takes two years before you can get a G-Class, Brabus bought them all. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding, if you uh, want a G-Class Brabus you also have to wait like two years. But uh... Bob ruined the image, but uh, that's my buddy Bob. It's better with friends. Not gonna record too many of these cars because these cars are all customer cars and a lot of these cars also have number plates on it. So I did not want to put any Brabus number plates from customers on it. So uh, over here, we got the new EQS. So this is a fully 100% electrical Mercedes S-Class. And over there, we got a Maybach Brabus long version like a very long ass door looks pretty dope now uh, we're gonna head inside because it's absolutely freezing and this red light is making me look like a freaking prostitute and just like that we are inside the most expensive ones here do not only have Bob my buddy but they also have one of 25 rocket G 900 absolutely love it some people say it's a little bit too much but I don't think so so this is one of 25 customer cars that will be delivered pretty soon so if the customer of this car is looking it's coming it's coming pretty soon I like everything is carbon fiber carbon fiber wheel covers carbon fiber fenders all the interior carbon fiber let's have a look at the xlp that's a big ass monster with the xlp the what oh no thank you thank you take it take it no 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 not me hungry <laughs> it's like it's like half a cow yeah but you know they have like half cows here look at that he says it's half a cow and it's halal <laughs> 100%. 100%. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. So, yeah, uh, I just had a beef burger here. It's like beef. It's like, oh man, most delicious burger I ever had in my life. But anyway, so yeah, here we get the new XLP. So, this is uh, the 800 horsepower version. These lights are, it's like a lot of light. I need the sunglasses here. So, with this monster, not only do they give this car 800 horsepower, they also give it a lift kit. They cut the back part off and they turn it into a, into a pickup truck. Absolutely nuts. But I mean, look at this thing. Thing is an absolute monster. Now, if anybody from Brabus is watching, I would love to take the XLP on a camping trip. It does need a roof tent, though. The next one we have in store here, like we have a lot of customer cars, but one that I particularly like is the new P900. P900, yet again, G Class Rocket Edition, 900 horsepower. Absolute monster, yet again. Look at this thing. So yet again, this is the P900 rocket. It means it's got a nine. So it's the P900 rocket, and this beast has got a. They drilled up the engine. Not really sure how they say it in English, but they made the engine bigger. So a stock AMG is a 4.2 V8, and they put a 4.5 in this one. So they uh, 
made a lot bigger, producing now a regular standard 900 horsepower. And if I recall, they're only going to make 10 of these. So they lowered it, they put giant wheels on it, and the side angle of this beast is absolutely nuts. God dang. And of course, next to the P900 in the back of me, we also got more G-classes. And if I just turn my head, there's another G-class. So if you're into G-classes, there's a lot of G-classes here. And I also do see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven my box. So in case you don't know, if you have a Mercedes, it's not good enough, not expensive enough, not luxurious enough, you can get a Maybach Mercedes. And if you're like, my Maybach has too much chrome and it's not good enough, well, we can also just turn it into a Maybach Brabus. It makes it even better. Also possible. So yeah, I'm not really sure if you guys can hear me because of the music, gonna speak a little bit louder, but I just did an interview. Um, pretty funny though, pretty funny. Uh, Cedric, that is Cedric. Cedric is actually the main, oh, <laughs> uh, Cedric is actually the main videographer for Konstantin Brabus, uh, Konstantin Bushman, so the actually boss. I'm hoping that the music is not too loud, but this is actually the super black. This is a totally black OG, Brabus style, only black. Black on black on black, absolutely love it. Now we're going into the wardrobe where the magic happens. This is all the new 2023 Brabus clothing. So if you're interested in Brabus clothing, this is all the new stuff. <laughs> and the motorcycle I reviewed last week, the Brabus 1300R, yeah. A lot of twisted comments. So a lot of people say it is really cool. It's like 50% says it's cool. 50% says like, what the hell has Brabus done with it? And if you don't know what Brabus is all about, it's like being exclusive, carbon fiber, making it a bit more special, making it like, they made like 75, 77 of this one, 77 of the black one, you get something exclusive. It will cost you a lot of money, but you have something exclusive. It's like, why do some girls buy a purse from Louis Vuitton or Gucci that costs like seven or eight or 15,000 euros? To be a little bit unique, to be a, bit, a little bit special. Hate it or love it, I absolutely love it. Now we're heading back to the front. Uh, first, I'm gonna get myself a drink because I am very thirsty. We got a bar here, they're serving cocktails. I'm kinda getting wasted, I'm kinda getting drunk. I almost took somebody else's drink. So next up, without the music, that's probably going to give me a copyright strike. We got that one. A lot of people don't know it yet, but Brabus also tunes Porsches now. So this is the Porsche Brabus 820, which means they gave this monster 820 horsepower. So we got an 820 horsepower Porsche Turbo S. I've been driving this thing into the German woods. It's an absolute monster. So the only thing that Brabus actually made makes is just monsters. Yeah. This is actually Brabus workshop. So one of the one of four or one of five workshops, but it actually built customer cars. But it took up license plates, of course. But there is a lot going on right here. So this is the place where they do the engine tuning, put other turbos on it. It's like a clean room. I could just drop some food on the ground and I would even eat it. That's how clean it is over here. Next up, we got the Porsche Taycan. Yeah, Robus is also, I'm getting a little bit tips here. I had too many cocktails. <laughs> so we also got the Robus Taycan Turbo S. So it's a really fast one. Everybody's getting way too drunk over here. It's getting really weird. It's getting fun, but it's getting really weird. So next to the Porsche Taycan, we also get two, three G-Classes. But these are customer cars, so I cannot jump in it. And I sure as hell cannot take it for a drive. People are not gonna like it inside when I start driving G-Class. Now, yet another Porsche. So there are actually uh, a lot of customers that are already robotizing their Porsche. Because, you know, Porsche leather is kind of cheap. Porsche wheels are kind of cheap. It's all, it's all just basic stuff. So if you really want an exclusive Porsche, bring it to Brabus and get a Brabus size. Decent wheels, decent leather. Things look so cool. Not this one, this one's just being built. And the last and not the last but not least, and last but not least, the one that I'm absolutely eager to show you guys is actually a Rolls Royce. Now, a lot of you guys are thinking like, Rolls Royce? Hey, wait, Smokey, that's BMW. Yeah, I know, but I mean, Brabus can do whatever they want, right? So if your Rolls is like too shiny, too much uh, shiny metallic chrome stuff, bring it to Brabus. 
Robus gives it more carbon fiber, puts a totally new interior in it. And we're thinking like, who wants that? Well, I do. If I ever get a Rolls Royce Ghost, probably never, I would Brabusize it. So yeah, the Rolls Royce Ghost tuned by Brabus. I do like it. Uh, they did give this monster 700 horsepower and it made it look even better. I had an absolute blast here today. I uh, hope you guys learned something. If you have any Brabus questions now for this video or in the future, just let me know. If you want to know anything about Brabus, anything at all, or about my own Brabus, whatever, let me guys know in the comments. Hope you guys liked it. It's been a little bit informative and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Drive safe. Peace.